God's love is not feelings. It is a being that produces feelings. Meaning that God himself is love. When you come into an atmosphere of love, you feel loved. Everything else that God has focused on so far is to let you know how much he loves you. The cross of Calvary was an expression of his love to you. All of God's words in his scriptures he is talking about how much he loves you. I'm looking at you now. You are being loved. How about knowing that majority can hate you but there is one that loves you. His love is not just normal love. It is supreme. Talk to your neighbor. The love of God is supreme. It is the greatest among all. If the atmosphere is available, walk in it and feel comfortable in your life. First John 4 verse 11 uh. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, uh. we surely ought to love each other. Since we are so much loved, we ought to also love one another. The only way you know that you have God is when you love others. Talk to your neighbor. The only way you would know that you have God is when you love others. Verse 12. Uh-huh. No one has ever seen God. Thank you. Uh-huh. But if we love each other, but if we love each other, if we love each other, it's a condition. We must all do it. If we love each other. No one has ever seen God. But if we love each other, the problem with Christianity today is too much hatred. That's why we can't grow. This one hates that one, that one hates this one, this one hates that one. And when we are like that, there is no growth. So no one has ever seen God. But when you love each other, you have seen God. I don't know if you understand. When you love each other, you have seen God. So you never see God with your eyes. God will never come down to you and say, my son, you have struggled. Come here, I'm here. No. But when you love somebody in the city next to you, when you love those that are with you, the Bible says you have seen God. So where is God? If I love this one, I have seen God. Where is God? Don't you think you have him with you? Don't you think he lives in you? Because if I love you, I have seen him. And Jesus says to the people, why are you looking for God? Haven't I not been with you all this time? If you see me, you have seen the Father. So if I love you, I have seen God. Then where is God? Let me tell you, God's love is the greatest thing in the kingdom. If we can't experience it, we don't have God.